Hello, I'm Helen Gurley Brown. Did you know one of the best ways to improve your figure is by gently stretching and subtly defining your muscles? That's why we created Tonetics, an innovative and invigorating calisthenics program. It's a wonderful way to shape your figure and give yourself a sleeker, more sensual look. More important, it will release the day's tensions in your body and leave you feeling great. So come on, try this terrific form of exercise. You'll be thrilled with the results, and so will the men in your life. Cosmopolitan Tonetics Workout is designed to help you stretch and tone your body and make you feel and look great all over, inside and out. In order to get the most out of Tonetics, make sure you're properly prepared. Wear good aerobic shoes for support and protection. Wear comfortable clothes that allow you to move freely. And make sure your skin is clean, refreshed, so that it can breathe and perspire freely. You may not know it, but in a typical square inch of your skin, there are about 800 sweat glands that become active when you work out. Makeup, dirt, and dead skin cells can clog your pores and make it more difficult for those glands to work. So we suggest a gentle but thorough cleansing of your skin before you work out. Use a cleanser that deep cleans and doesn't strip away the natural oils that help make your skin look beautiful. Let me suggest Oil of Olay Daily Cleansing Lotion for clean, beautiful skin. Oil of Olay Daily Cleansing Lotion with natural glycerin will give your skin a deep, refreshing cleansing without stripping away essential oil. It rinses away completely, leaving your skin clean, soft, refreshed, really radiant. Oil of Olay Daily Cleansing Lotion, the start of a wonderful workout for your skin. Remember, work at your own pace. Avoid hyperextending any joints and don't strain. Okay, let's get started with the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. The knees slightly bent, the abdominal pelvian and the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Again, stretch it up and down. Two more times. Lift it up and down. Last time, reach. Keep the legs straight as you exhale down. Rotate through the left side. Two three and change press four three two now in two change sides and over single count work through the foot toe ball and heel with the arms straight up stretch and reach lengthen out through your side still working through your foot pull up four three two last time stretch it all the way down one shoulder back circle eight seven Big circles all the way back. Four, three, two. Now both shoulders, lift them shoulders up and back. Big circles. Four more. Circle four, three, two. Now work your feet together in four, three, two. Last time, march it out. Lift the knees, work the arms. All we're doing here is just raising the body temperature, getting your muscles warm and ready to stretch. So have fun with this part. Take it back in four, three, two. Travel up in four, three, two. One more back. Press four, three, two. Walk it up. Get ready to step. Touch left and right all the way over. Step over, touch, over, touch. Four back. Four, three, two. Walk it up. Four, three, two. Take it back. Walk it up, last time. Four, three, two. Now lift the knees, hands behind your back. Take the knees together, lift up. One hand brings it forward, pull it up. That's four, three, two. Last time, march it up. Lifting the knees, working the arms. Out and in, press out, out and in. Out, out and in. Four more. Last time, keep 
the legs out, inhale, lift. Now press your ear over the side, drop the fingertips down. It's a gentle press through the side of the neck. Hold it right there. Other side, reach the fingertips out and then drop the fingertips down to the floor. Hold it there, press the neck, shoulder down. Tricep stretch. Be sure not to arch your lower back here. Keep your tailbone tucked under. Just hold it there. Four more. Hold four, three, two. Other side. Press the elbow down. Hold. Stretching through the back of the arm. Four more. Hold four, three, two. Now bring your arm up and across. Stretching through the back of the shoulder. Hold it there. Be sure to keep the shoulder down. Other side. Hold for eight. Four more. Hold four, three. Two, now release the hand, turn your shoulder back, hold it there. Other side, turn over the shoulder. Bring it to the center, slide down, stretching through your lower back. Lift up, two, and press down. Two, exhale, lift, two, and press down. Two more times, lower back lifts and lower. You want to pull your navel up into your spine and then press down, single counts, exhale, up, inhale, down, three more, lift three, press up, two, last time, now turn the toes and the knees out, drop the left side, other shoulder, drop the right, single counts, press left, right, left, and lift it up, hips stay square, reach it out to the side, press over, keep the hips still, Reach one arm up, press four, three, two, back out to the side, reach four, three, two, bring the arm up, press four, back out to the side, reach it out. Now bring the arm up and over, hold the stretch, all down through your side, inhale, lift, exhale over, reach out. Now rotate both toes all the way around, make sure both toes are straight ahead, press into your back heel, and push through your hips so that your back isn't arched, stretching through your calf. Now step in the back foot a little bit closer. Flex your front toe and drop the tailbone back, keeping your abdominals held in tight, keeping your hands on your thighs to support your lower back. Just hold it right there. Do a good stretch down the front calf. Now place that foot down, lift it up to the center, and press two, three, and rotate. Again, both toes turn straight ahead. Press into your back heel. Push your hip forward. Now take that foot a little bit closer, press into the heel, and then drop the tailbone back and flex the front foot. Abdominals held in tight. Just hold that stretch right there through the front calf. And place the foot down, take it forward, and press four, three, two, inhale, lift, and exhale down. Okay, we finished the warm-up. If you have weights, go ahead and pick them up. Okay, for the standing lower body work, if you can't get a very large turnout, just bring your toes and your knees in. The important part to remember is that they stay aligned. Standing in plie position, down and up. Press down, squeeze up. You want to contract through your buttocks and through your inner thighs as you lift up. You want to make sure that your knees don't snap shut or that you hyperextend when you come up. Inhale down, exhale up. Down, squeeze up. Down, press. Four more. Squeeze up four. Press three. Two last time. Now middle and up. Press down, middle, down, lift, up. Again, down, keep it low, and then squeeze up. Four more. Two more. Down, keep it low, and lift. Last time, now hold it middle, hold it right there. Lower your hands, drop the hips slightly. One more, hold it right there, and then lift it up, shake the legs out. We're gonna do lunges, working the buttocks and the quadricep. Starting with the left foot, take it forward, bring it out, and down, two, three, push back. Down, two, three, push back. It's not a bounce here, it's a small push. And back again, small press. Arms out to the side, take it forward, and back again, out. Two more. 
Make sure that your knee does not break out over your toe. Other leg, take it forward. Push back, keep that pelvis pressing down, don't arch the back. Again, take it forward. Squeeze from your buttocks and just push back. Out, exhale, arms out to the side, four more. And back, three more, out. Squeeze from the buttocks back, last two, forward. And back and forward. Change your leg, arms out, press four. And back, three more. Push it off, two more. Exhale as you push back, last time, forward. Change sides, other leg, comes all the way out. Squeeze from the buttocks back, again, forward. And back, two more, out. And back, last time, forward. Other leg, two times, press forward. Push it back, again, take it forward. Other leg. Press out, exhale back, last time on this side, other side, press forward, one more on that side, press out, change legs, and back again, forward, left side, other leg, forward, last time on each leg, Push it back, and four, and back. Okay, take your feet apart, toes and knees stay forward. We're gonna do squats, press down, up, down, lift, down, lift. Drop the tailbone back, keep your abdominals in. Three more, two more, last time. Now middle and up, press down, low, down, lift, up. Again, down, press, low. Six more, down, keep it low. Toes and knees directly forward. Four more. Three more. You want to squeeze your buttocks as you come up. Last time, hold it middle. Just hold it right there, drop the hips. Again. One more down, hold right there. And then lift it up. Take the hands onto your waist, working your calves, lift up and down, press up and down. You want to keep your knees relaxed. Don't lock the knees, now double it up. Just lift, lift. Keep your tailbone tucked under, abdominals tight, shoulders relaxed. Four more, four, three, two. Now take your hands forward, lift it up to the side and down, all the way onto your toes. Again, press forward and up and side. And down, a single counts. Press forward, lift, side, and down. Three more, forward, lift, side, and down. Two more, reach, lift, out, and down. Last time, forward, up. Keep the hands on the waist and lift all the way up. Two, three, four more, all the way up. Four, three, two, reach it up to the ceiling. Press last, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Push one heel back and stretch. Other heel back. Stretch through the calf. And then slowly lower down. We're going to do push ups for the chest and for your arms. If you can't do them on your toes, go ahead and do them on your knees. Take your fingertips forward. Keep your head extended straight out from your neck. Abdominals tight. And press down. Exhale up. Eight more. Last time, hold it up and stretch back. Okay, rolling up, we'll do abdominal work. Start with your feet firmly on the floor. Lift the spine up. Now, if you have any lower back problems, keep hanging onto your knees. Otherwise, re release the knees and exhale, roll down slowly. Keeping the lower part of the abdomen pulled in. Lower back hits the floor, middle back, upper back, and then inhale, lift up. And exhale as you rotate to the side as you slowly roll down. Top arm reaching out over the bottom arm. Roll all the way down and lift up. Inhale, 
Other side, exhale, reach it out. Slowly, keep the lower part of the abdomen pulled in. And then lift up. Last one, really round out to the spine. Roll down one vertebra after the other. Slowly down. And lift the back. Go all the way to the floor. Hands by your hips. Take the legs up. Tilt the pelvis up two. And down. Work from the lower part of your abdomen. Up two and down. Don't use your legs. Work from that lower abdomen. Again, contract up and release. Eight singles. Press up, down, contract, release. Keep the shoulders relaxed to the floor. Four more. Keep it very controlled. Don't swing the legs to lift. Two more. It's very small movement. Now cross the ankles. Same thing. Lift up and down. Press up and down. Six more. Lift. Four more. Last time. Now place one foot on the floor. Knee out. Hands here on the head. Elbows stay wide. To the side. Exhale. Lift. Down. Press up. Down. Ten more. Lift to the side. Work from the waist. Seven more. Lift up. Five more. Rotate to the side. Both hips stay flat. Three more. Last time, bring it up and hold it there. Rotate over to the side a little bit further. Hold. And then relax back. Other knee out. Both hips stay flat. To the side. Exhale. Lift. Down. Press over. Work from the waist. Elbows stay wide. Eight more. Lift up. Eight. Four more. Last time, bring it up and hold it there. Rotate further to the side. And release. Feet on the floor. Back stays down. Navel stays pulled into the spine. Shoulders lift. Exhale, up and down. Press up. Just relax your head into your hands. A little bit higher. Four more. Exhale, four. Press up, three. Lift, two. Last time, bring it up and hold it there. Extend one leg, reach the arms forward. The leg is 45 degrees, shoulders up and press. Small pulse, keep breathing. Eight more, lift it higher, press eight. Seven, keep that back press down, keep your neck relaxed. And last time, hold it there and release it. Other leg out, 45 degrees, pull the shoulders up and press. Now if your neck is tight, you can place one hand behind it. Eight more, lift up, eight, seven, six, five, keep the lower abdomen pulled in. Last time, bring it up, hold it there, and release. Now take both legs up, cross the ankles, hands behind the head, to the knees, lift up and down. Exhale, lift and down, press up, all the way up to the knees. Don't bring your knees into your elbows. Take your elbows up to your knees. Let's do eight more. Press up, eight. Exhale, seven. Press up, six. Five, four more, all the way up. Keep the navel pulled into the spine. Two more. Last time, bring it up, hold it there. And pulse, last eight, seven, six, five. Press four, three, two, hold. And we'll start by stretching out through the abdominals. Extend the leg out, arch up through your back. And then change legs. Extend the other leg and arch up. And pull both knees into the chest. And then roll right onto the side. Bottom knee is bent, top leg out straight. Head rests on your side. Outer thigh lifts up and down and up and down. Now keep the lower part of your leg relaxed. Keep your foot relaxed. Four more, four. Press up three. Press up two. Last time we'll leg up and just lift. Four more, press up four. Three, two, now combination press. Up, down, one, two, three. Again, lift up, down, one, two, three. Now lift the leg, don't swing it. One, two, three, last time. Lift, lower, one, two, three. Hold the leg up, lift up one inch. Again, hold it right there and release. Contract up, hold, release it down. Again, lift up, press. 
and down. Last time, bring it up. Hold it right there. Lift it up one inch. Again, one more. Hold it right up. And then release it back. Lay back onto your back. We're going to stretch out the outer thigh. Pull the leg in towards you. The top leg on top of the back. And if you feel in your knee, you can pull the knee in closer towards you. Just stretch it out. And then roll right back onto that same side with the top leg over, bottom leg extended. We're going to work through the inner thigh. Contract up and down. Squeeze, lift and down. Press, relax. Make sure your foot is resting on the side there. Three more. Up and down. Lift up. Last time, bring it up and just press, press, squeeze it up to the inner thigh. Four more. Lift four, three, two. Hold it there. Now lift up onto your side. Take the top leg back. You can leave it in front if that's more comfortable. Bring the bottom leg out. Keep that foot turned out and lift and down. Squeeze up from the inner thigh. Contract, release. Press, resist it as you push up and down. Keep your abdominals pulled in. Two more, a little bit higher. Last time, hold it up and just press, press all the way up. Lift up four, three, two. Hold it there. Combination press up, down, one, two, three. Again, lift and lower. One, two, three. Two more. Press and down. Last one. Lift it up. Relax. One, two, three. Hold the leg up. Lift up from the inner thigh. One inch. Again, hold it there and release it. Take your feet together. We'll stretch it out by pressing the elbows into your knees. Just press it out through the inner thigh. And then lay it back onto the other side. The bottom knee bent, top leg straight, one hip right on top of the other. Sit relaxed and lift. Press up and down. Contract up and down. Six more, a little bit higher. Keep it very controlled. You want to resist as you push up, release down. Two more. Last time, hold leg up. Small presses, just lift eight, seven. Now combination press, up, down, one, two, three. Again, lift up, relax, two more, press, release. Last time, pull it up and down, one, two, three, hold the leg up, lift up one inch. Again, hold it there, release it down. Slowly press up and hold, release it down. Resist it up. And down, last time, bring the leg up, hold it there, lift up one inch, again, hold it there from the outer thigh, and release it. Stretch it out, lay onto your back, take that leg on top of the other one, and just gently pull the leg towards you. Again, if you feel it in your knee, pulling that knee closer towards you. And then release it, lay back onto your side, top leg over, bottom leg is extended, inner thigh presses up, and down, contract, lift, and lower. Six more, press, release, press, release. Two more, contract, up, last time, hold it up, and press, push up, eight, seven, six, a little bit higher, last four, three, two, hold it there. Lay back up onto your side, take the top leg over, bottom leg forward, relax the foot, and contract up and down, resist, release, press, Exhale, up, inhale, down. Four more, a little bit higher. And press up three. Lift up two. Last time, hold the leg up and just lift, lift, lift a little bit higher. Four more, press up four, three, two. Now combination press up, down, one, two, three. Again, lift up, down, one, two, three. Two more, up, down. Last time, a little bit higher. Lift, release, one, two, three. Hold it up. Take the feet together and stretch it out by pressing the elbows down into the knees. Okay, sitting up straight, cross your legs. Inhale, reach up, straighten up through your spine and take the elbows wide, open the chest, inhale. And exhale, elbows touch, hold it right there. And inhale, lift open. And exhale, press the head down and hold. 
Lift up through the arms, straighten up through your spine, and reach the arms down, shoulders stay relaxed. And over to the left, reach it out. Keeping the right hip into the floor, stretch it out through your side. And then reach out through your fingertips as you drop it down and hold it there. Back out to your side. And push up, inhale. And exhale, reach over, stretch all down through the side. Keeping that left hip firmly into the floor. And reach out forward, stretching out through the left side of your spine. Hold it. And back out to the side. And inhale, lift up. Exhale down, leaning back. Grab under, underneath your thighs as you roll down slowly. And take the knee into the chest. Flex your foot and press the heel up through the ceiling. Stretch over your calf and through your hamstrings. Bend the knee and inhale. And exhale, push up. And then bend the knee into the chest. Extend the legs straight out. Drop the knee over the side. And head turns opposite direction. And rotate back. Place that foot on the floor. Other knee into the chest, flex your foot, and then push the heel up. Keep the shoulders relaxed as you gently take the leg towards you. Bend the knee and inhale, and then exhale, press up and hold. And bend the knee into the chest, extend the leg out, and drop the knee over. Head turns opposite direction, shoulders and relax into the floor. Just exhale and relax. back and pull both knees into the chest stretching through your lower back hold it there hands underneath your hips as you roll up and take the hands behind your back lift up and over keep the knees relaxed and you stay bent and release the arms shake out your shoulders as you roll up slowly one vertebra at a time Feeling great after working out, it's a head-to-toe glow that lets you know you've done some terrific things for your body. You've had a good stretch and tone workout, you've exercised our muscles, flexed our joints. Let's not forget our skin. Working out, we perspire. Our sweat glands are helping to wash away the skin's impurities. As you refresh yourself after a workout, take the extra few seconds to gently cleanse your face. Then replenish your skin with a moisturizer that's light and non-greasy. We need to get our skin back into the right balance of moisture and oils. You want to use a moisturizer that will penetrate quickly, that won't clog your pores, that rapidly hydrates your skin to bring back the healthy, radiant glow that you feel from the inside out. Because Oil of Olay Beauty Fluid returns to your skin essential emollients so similar to those in younger skin, Use it every day, twice a day, over your face and your neck to make your skin feel softer and more supple. You'll be surprised what a difference healthy, radiant-looking skin can make in your total beauty and fitness program. For smoother, softer, younger-looking skin that lets your natural radiance shine through, remember Oil of Olay every day, twice a day. <laughs> 